Hello and welcome to something a little bit different from the Infinity Idiots. I am on my own today and that is because I am going to have a little chat about a Vassal bath report I had. So Vassal is a way, well it originally started as a way of doing board games online so you could play against other people and people have been much, much clever people than myself have managed to tweak it so you can play war games on it. Um, one of the more robust modules that you can use that is awesome to use, I have to say, is the Malifaux one. There's also a Gilbo one. But today we are going to have a Malifaux battle report. Now this is for a campaign that's been run both on Vassal and in real life. But unfortunately I've because of where everybody is, I am just on Vassal. So, this is the first week, and it is part of the worldwide campaign that we are running. So, we are going to be playing the Panicked Flight strategy. So, what this is, is there is a child in the middle, and we got to try and get the child to either of our deployment zones. And there are some Witchling Stalkers who are not part of either either crew that are coming to hunt him or her down. And we also have some carnivorous plants. Now, they're, they're, they are just an event, so they actually can be quite nasty, as we'll see in the battle report, but they also give you more scrib, which is money you can spend in the campaign to get upgrades, new members of your crew, etc. Anyway, so this is deployment. So I am... Um, running guild with the hope to get Hoffman eventually so my very starting crew is Ryle, a peacekeeper a guardian and a watcher from left to right at the bottom right hand corner because this is con deployment whereas my opponent the rich cheat him at cheat face because he cheats all the time don't you know we have Rusty Alice Johan Taylor up at the top and a trapper and then as you can see in the bottom Left, top, right are the two stalkers coming towards the centre for the child. So, that is deployment. So, as you can see as well, Rick revealed out, flank I Rick revealed, breakthrough. And there are a lot of points on offer. There's a potential of eight points just for the strategy in this one. So, that is for the child and for killing the stalkers. So, that was deployment. The other schemes on offer as well as Breakthrough and Outflank was make them suffer and distract. I picked distract, and obviously that stays hidden, but in this game I didn't actually score any points, and Rich had make them suffer, and likewise he didn't get any points for it in the end, because he couldn't get to my watcher. Turn 1. Not much happened, as you can see. The Peacekeeper's moved up and smashed one of the carnivorous plants just to get me some cheap scrib obviously the both stalkers both sets of stalkers move closer um, we did make a mistake in this in that we moved them we were moving them five and they should be moving four so you notice in, I think it's turn three they actually don't move that far um, so this is halfway through turn one so obviously the peacekeeper's moved in Taylor's moved in and then we go to the bottom and then the only other things that happened was the trapper managed to ping a point off the guardian mainly because I managed to get my trigger so trying to get through armour 3 can be difficult for some models so then we go to turn 2 and as you can see we Rich ended up burning a stone for initiative so he could get it and he tried to use his trapper to take out one of the stalkers 
but in the end he fluffed a little bit because I was cheating and he managed to get a moderate in but he didn't kill it which then meant the Guardian easily just swapped the charged in smashed it obviously took some damage but it did mean that I did get a victory point for that Rusty then pushed the child and that continues the path when the child just moves close to Richie's deployment all the way through the game <laughs> Funnily enough, the Taylor tried to take out the other plant, other plant, and in doing so, ended up taking a mighty hit off plant. Ended up doing the plant ended up doing severe damage to her, but she did have, and in the end, she had to cheat Red Joker in to actually take out the plant, which was a healthy comeback. Um, the Peacekeeper then did try to shoot Rusty to try and get her in but unfortunately between Black Jokers and between Soulstone use I didn't do the damage to pull her in but then that meant Ryle had to go in obviously you can't charge Rusty but he used the free, the free push he gets by moving away from the Peacekeeper to get into her engagement and smash her around good to get her down to just one point so end of turn two I am one up Thanks to that stalker. Next into turn three, Rusty goes down, obviously thanks to Ryle. Taylor kills the Guardian with one swing because she's just brutal against constructs. The Trapper manages to kill one of the stalkers. Peacekeeper does manage to take Taylor down to her what to her heart to kill. But then also Johan killed a the other stalker so in the end all the stalkers went down by turn three and that left us at two apiece now in turn four it's worth pointing out as well that by, at this point the watcher had been high legging it out and had started to drop markers at this stage for breakthrough taylor manages to squish the peacekeeper quite easily ryle then kills taylor in revenge um, and Johan starts pushing the child closer and closer to his deployment zone uh, at this stage I knew I wasn't going to be able to stop Johan so I was just about being petty and killing as much as possible so in turn 5 again Johan keeps pushing Watch keeps dropping markers and Trapper manages just to ping a point of damage off Ryle and then unfortunately if the game had finished there we would have ended up at 5-5 because Rich was getting the points for the kid but he was also getting a couple of points for outflank thanks to the trapper so it was a last ditch effort to see if I could try and put Johan into the dirt unfortunately both Johan and Ryle just slapped rather pathetically off each other and in the end uh, Outcast take the game 6-5 so quite brutal and in the end we both got away relatively scot-free as far as injuries go um, the worst one being that the Peacekeeper now costs me 12 points instead of 11 points which is a little bit harsh um, but I am bringing a Hunter into my week 2 because the Guardian is down for a turn because he's knocked out. I'll be honest, I was expecting much worse, especially against two relic hammers and a full construct crew. But thankfully, um, the plant helped this help me out <laughs> help me out this turn because it uh, made Taylor a bit more easy to kill and held back a little bit. Relatively impressed with Ryle just going around doing his business, and you certainly can hit like a good one when you need him to. But yeah, at least I get to learn the crew before we learn the different facets of the different constructs that I can take with Hoffman before I actually introduced Hoffman into this. So I am planning to get at least... A, I've got, obviously got a Hunter week two. Probably look for a Warden week three, which will be the halfway point. At that point I should hopefully, fingers crossed, have enough points to get a bounty and another model and we will see where it goes there. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Please comment, like, subscribe as always. Um, I'd be interested to see if people find these Vassal games interesting and any feedback we welcome because 
this is a relatively easy way of showing off games and it's not too heavy on people's time. Again, thank you for watching and we will catch you guys later.